Uh, other things that you may need, um, if you want to study counterpoint, and like if this is something like you have to know what you want, and that's the advantage, I guess, of having a teacher. They can, and a good teacher, they can tell you what you need to get to your goal. So it's always important to be really clear with your teacher what your goal is. If your teacher doesn't make the time or effort to understand what your goal is, then that's already like a problem, right? Because a teacher is a servant in the noble sense. A teacher is a servant. And a servant, in order to be a good servant, must know what their master wants. But more importantly, the servant must know what the master needs. Because sometimes the master thinks that he wants something. But the servant alone can see, no, this is what you need. And you will thank me, or maybe not, later. And that's what the role of an excellent teacher is. So if you're starting out with composition, you may not really know what you want, and you need to give the teacher time to, um, to kind of fill it out. You know, it may even take a couple of years, especially at the beginning if you're just starting out. Like, what, does this, is this, what is this student hoping to get? Uh, for example, some students are, are like meant to be composers, like, we'll, like we're born and will die a composer. Some uh, students become composers, you know, but they, they have to compose, like they just they have to. Other people are doing composition on the side, they find it um, very interesting, they like the creative expression, but they're not looking to become the next Bach and they will have limited time, but it's something they will come back to. Other people may be in groups and they want to like just kind of rearrange arrange music or write kind of some extra stuff, uh, more functional, you know, uh, and they, they seek out composition. So there's many, 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 many reasons to seek out composition, but the excellent teacher will be very very hyper aware that there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all formula of composition.